Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Key Cam and the Fam. And yes, it is morning. It is 6 a.m. in the morning, and my husband decides that he wants me to make some corn. If you guys go and check out Mama Cinnamon Playlist, you will see that I always, I already have a corn video that's already up. So in this video right here, it's a little bit different. Well, not really different, but it's kind of different because I've realized that lime take your corn to a whole nother level. So we have one stick of butter, one lime, slap your mama seasoning. We have garlic powder. Of course, you have to have the parsley flakes. Spanish paprika, black pepper, onion powder, steak seasoning, yes, steak seasoning, and we have red crushed peppers. So we're going to take this butter and we're going to smooth this butter and we're going to make like a butter spread for this corn. So we're going to get our spoon, okay, so we're going to chop this butter up and it's actually been sitting out for a couple of hours. Because I was supposed to do it last night. I'm not going to even lie. But I kind of sort of forgot. But you know how that is. Okay. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do. We're going to add. It, it don't have to be like really, really soft. But soft enough where you can spread it on your corn. See that? And if you go to Sam's Club, Sam's Club actually have a good garlic butter spread. So what we're going to do, we're going to add, we're going to take this out. We're going to take this spoon out. Okay. We're going to add some Slap Your Mama. We're going to add some Spanish paprika. I'm telling you guys. Use the Spanish paprika. It's it's okay. You can use whatever kind you choose to, but this have a whole different flavor. And don't be scared to season your food. But don't get carried away. Cause sometimes y'all be putting too much seasoning on y'all food. I have to say it because I be scared for y'all. But this is garlic powder. We're gonna go in with our black pepper. We're going to go in with a little onion powder, not a whole lot, just a little bit. We got to go in with the steak seasoning. And you, you can use any type of steak seasoning that you like, but this is the good this is the good stuff. I can't lie. And I'm telling you, this corn, this is like a meal by itself. And we're going to go in with the red crushed peppers. Now, if you're not about that heat life, then don't put this on. Please don't use this. But my husband and my son, yeah, they're about that heat life. So we're going in with some crushed red peppers. Okay. So we're going to stir this in. Yeah, this is getting ready to be good. So we're going to get our corn. Going to bring the corn over here. More room right there. So what we're going to do, I already have my oven on. I'm not playing. And this corn is going to cook for 30 to 35 minutes. If you want to leave it in there longer, you can. So we're going to take our corn. And we're going to take this butter mixture and we're going to wipe it all over this corn. And your family is going to love me for this. They're going to say, Cinnamon, you are amazing. And we're going to cook this at 375 degrees. Depending on how hot your stove gets, then you can cook yours for... 350 okay so that's the first one we're just gonna lay that off to the side and then we're gonna go back in with the second one 
And if you all are paying attention, if you notice, I have not put the lime on here and I haven't put the parsley. That is what you call, as my husband will say, this is good eating right here. Oh yeah, this is good eating. And if you miss some spots, that's okay because guess what? When you put this corn in this aluminum foil, oh yeah, it's going to get all over it. Okay, so that's the second one. And don't be scared. And if you have some of this left over, do not throw it away. Don't throw it away. You can always put, you can make toast and use this. You can use it for whatever you want to, but it's really, really good. And be very, 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 very generous with the butter. Don't be skimpy when it comes to the butter. I'm gonna lean this right here, guys. I gotta get some more of this on. Okay. I had to get some more on here. So. Cam, you ready? Yeah. He all cool with it. You ready, Cam? Yeah. If he don't sound more excited than that, he not getting no, none of this corn. <laughs> As you can see, guys, I didn't have anything left because I'm not stingy when it comes to this butter. Now, this corn right here, you all think that other video, you think that recipe is good? Oh, my goodness. My family like, you got some corn? They're not calling me, asking me about You got some ribs? Cause they know I don't barbecue no way, but they are always calling and asking for this corn. So here y'all go. Here, here y'all go, make your own now. So what we're gonna do with this, I'll put the lasses on here. We're gonna take our full. Okay, so we gotta move this over here. Okay, so guys, so now we have the butter sauce already on the corn. We're going to take our corn. We're going to go in with this lime. Put a little lime juice on here. Mm -hmm. Flip that corn over. Then I want you to go in with your parsley. Y'all yeah, know it's so early, the garbage man is running. And we're gonna wrap this corn up. And we're gonna sit it right there. And so what I'm getting ready to do, I'll do one more so you guys can see what I'm doing. You see that butter sauce? I'm sorry. We're gonna go in with this lime. Don't get ridiculous with this lime. You only just trying to give it a little tang. That's it. Just trying to get that little tang. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in with our parsley. And guys, we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes at 375 degrees, and I will bring you guys back. Okay, guys, so it has been 30 minutes, 35 minutes actually, and I set the oven for 375 degrees. So let me show you this corn. It's the bomb. Make sure that when you do your corn, make sure that you have it really, really tight so none of the butter can seep out. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Look, get it now. Now you already know that with all of the flavor that we put on this corn, y'all know it's the bomb. Look at that. This is like the perfect corn. So we're gonna show you, well you all see from the first piece of corn. You see all, look at all that flavor. Look at that. And when I tell you, it smells so good. It smells so good. So we're gonna do, you gonna do a thumbnail? Okay, so we're gonna, Cam's gonna do a thumbnail and we're, well, this is the end of the video. So guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment down below, hit the notification bell so you would know every time I am dropping cooking videos. So we're going to get this thumbnail together and we'll see you guys in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You have to hit that notification bell, hit all so you will get all of our upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to check out our family channel. Bye.